This is our draw and challenge for week six, stacking tables. So we're gonna start off just like we have in the past with the um, four dots so that we can make the top of our box. So the first two are right on top of each other. They're very close, like maybe half an inch apart. And then the opposite two go over maybe about an inch between the two and to the left and then again to the right, about an inch. Now we're gonna connect those four dots. So those are parallel lines and then connect it this way with another set of parallel lines. Now we're gonna drop some verticals and these are very, these are gonna be very short, maybe half an inch. So half an inch here, here, and here. Now connect those. So this part of the box is parallel with this one and this part is parallel with that side. Now we're gonna go parallel, parallel, and connect here. And that creates our first box. Now we're gonna put a medium-sized box below it so we're gonna put another vertical line just under this corner, maybe off to the side just a little bit and make it about an inch long. And then we're going to draw this one over to the side, another inch long. See how it has that angle to it? And we're drawing this one. So this one is high, low, high. Had to make a little edit. Okay, so we're going to draw the bottom of this connecting those dots, and again, it's rather parallel with that, and the bottom of this one. Again, it's parallel with those up there. All right, the instructions in the book say to drop down just a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch, and put a dot. This is gonna be the corner of the bottom box. We're stacking three boxes together. So from here, I'm gonna put another vertical line, and then a big wide open V. So from this point, drawn back, and drawing back. And then I'm gonna do the same size lines coming from the bottom of this point. And go back like that. So we need vertical lines to end the box. This is the end of it. And then this is gonna, but we see the back of the box going behind this box. So we have to have another line going this way. So this line is parallel with this front line. And then this part is gonna be parallel with these lines. So they would intersect back here in the back behind that box, but it's behind the box so we can't see it. All right, so there's our three stacked boxes. Now let's put a little cast shadow on it, a little shading. So our light is coming from the upper right corner. So I'm going to kind of spread this shadow from the bottom of the box. Again, I disagree with the artist that came up with this drawing because the shadow on the ground would actually look kind of like these three stacked boxes. So I'm gonna add a little shadow. So I'm gonna make this shadow just a little bit more narrow. And then I'm gonna add another long shadow across the top. Let me get kind of light and fuzzy. darker. So it's almost like the shape of the letter I, like a block letter I. Kind of smooth that shadow out just a little bit. It's darkest, closest to the object. There we go. All right, we have shadow underneath this box. So I'm gonna make it kind of a dark gray underneath the box. And coming up this side, maybe a little bit lighter. Not too far. And then the back of the box is gonna be, let's go a little bit lighter. So it's dark right here because it's underneath this thing right here. And then this side is gonna be about the same tone as that. This box is gonna have a shadow coming across here. And then this part. This has quite a bit more shading to put on it, so really take your time and focus on what you're doing. 
Make sure you have all the parts. And that's it. That's what we were going for and that's what I got. Don't forget to sign your name. And this is DC6.